Hi everyone. In this video, we'll talk about how to visualize body plot in a Simulink model. A body plot lets you determine the stability of a control system. It maps the frequency response of the system showing the gain and phase response of a linear time invariant system. In this video, we'll only focus on generating Bode plot of a Simulink model. To learn the fundamental concepts of the Bode plot, please check out the using Bode plot series, which is a part of the MATLAB Tech Talks. For our demonstration, we'll use a water tank system. In this system, water enters the tank from the top at a rate proportional to the voltage applied to the pump, and it leaves through an opening in the tank base at a rate that is proportional to the square root of the water height. The presence of the square root in the water flow rate results in a nonlinear plant. Now, coming back to the Simulink model, the tank dynamics is modeled in the water tank subsystem using this differential equation. And further, in this single loop feedback model, the aim of the PID controller is to achieve the desired water level. Now, having understood the system, now let us check out how to generate the Bode plot for this model. First, in the Simulink tool strip, we will select the Linearization Manager to linearize the model. Then, we will configure the output signal of the PID control block as an input perturbation and the output signal of the water tank system block as an open loop output. The input perturbation specifies an additive input to a signal and the open loop output specifies an output measurement followed by a loop break. For more information on how to specify portion of model to linearize, please check out this documentation linked in the video description. Once you have added the linear analysis points, you will see that the markers have been added at their respective locations. After specifying the analysis points, open the model linearizer of the model in the Simulink model window present in the apps gallery. As we have already defined the analysis points in the analysis input output drop down list, we will leave model input output as selected. For this example, we will use the model operating point for linearization. In the operating point drop down list, we have left the model initial condition selected. Optionally, you can also view model operating point or can explore these options to create new operating points. Now, let us linearize the system and generate a Bode plot of the model. To do so, click Bode and the software adds the linearized model linear system 1 to the linear analysis workspace and generates the Bode plot for the model. The linear system 1 is a linear model from the specified input to the specified output that is computed at the default model operating point. If you wish, you can also export the linearized model to the MATLAB workspace. To do so, you just need to drag the linear system 1 from the linear analysis workspace to the MATLAB workspace. Now that we have generated the Bode plot, let us check out some additional cool features of the app to acquire useful information. For example, you can right click on the plot and visualize various characteristics. Also, you can select the linear model and click on the results viewer to display the results as state space, transfer function or zero pole gain. Finally, you can select the Bode plot one tab and change the plot properties such as style, label and units. As an example, you can change the frequency, magnitude and phase units or use the options tab to visualize magnitude and phase response based on multiple adjustments. So this was a short video on how to generate Bode plot from a Simulink model. Similarly, you can also linearize the model with other plots such as Nyquist, Nichols and many more. Finally, as we have investigated a basic example, please check out the links to some of the advanced examples listed in the video description. Thank you.